Morning fellas. Today we're doing uh, Boozy Shave number three for Boozy Shave Week. And today I'm going with Katie's Bubbles Irish Coffee. So it says sweetened fresh brewed coffee with Irish whiskey by Katie's Bubbles, of course. So this soap kind of has a light tan, uh, light tan color to it. It um, it has decent firmness. It's not. I don't think it's like a triple milled soap or anything like that. You can press into it, but it, it's got decent firmness. Um, off the puck, it definitely. I mean, as far as scent goes and accuracy to the theme of Irish coffee, I'd say he nailed it. It really uh, inspires um, a picture of having that kind of like Bailey's Irish cream or just, you know, coffee with creamer and just that boozy undertone that still lingers even when mixed with coffee. So yeah, he nailed it. This is some real good stuff. Um, most people know that Katie's Bubbles is really high quality, easy to work with. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Got some in my Lancaster bowl, as always. And I got a new addition to the den. So let me uh, let me show you. This arrived quite timely from Fenderhan. Let me just wring the water out. So this is Vylong Black Horse 24 millimeter Black Horse brush. So this is a mix of, I believe it was 65% tail, um, tail hair, and 35% mane hair. So, it's a mixture of different areas of the horse. I thought it was pretty interesting that they showcased that. It's a 24 millimeter. It has a decent loft on it. Um, I haven't used it for a shave yet. It literally just came in today. But it, uh, I did put it through the Zingari Man all-purpose brush cleaner just to get the funk out of, you know, the factory grime or whatever. Um, it, it produced a nice lather with that, um, and it was really easy to work with. And I know an issue or something that people are scared about with horsehair brushes is that they tangle real easily, maybe due to lack of backbone or whatever. I didn't notice that with that preliminary um, cleaning of the bristles, but uh, that's not to say it won't happen, you know, in time or at some point. So we'll get started here. It's not a particularly dense brush. I know it's kind of hard to capture. It's not a particularly dense brush, but I've definitely had some brushes that are even, you know, a little bit thinner pack than this. So this is a wood brush. It's really uh, lightweight. This, you can see, is just wood with a nice uh, finish on it. I did see... It it has some imperfections. I did see, you know, a little bit of glue right around the surface. The, I will say it was $28 uh, US. And this portion, the black portion, is basically a coating. It's not black wood or anything like that. It's like... A coating now I don't know how long that's gonna last for 28 bucks I'm not really expecting the world out of it uh, obviously I don't want it to deteriorate quickly but it's not to say it won't happen and uh, Jeffrey Smith was using one of these today as well and he also mentioned the lettering it just looks like it's laid on top of the wood I really don't have high hopes for that hanging around either but, you know, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. So let me just take a little drink here. No Irish coffee this morning. It's just a simple amber ale. Has nice, nice malty sweetness, as well as um, a slight hot bite. So, 
not citrus, like a bitter hot bite, but just ever so slight. The sweetness of the malt is really the predominant character there. I would have tried to get an Irish whiskey going for you guys, but with the grocery stores being as they are, it's just not worth it. Kind of put a damper on uh, what could have been a very thought out boozy shave week. And Katie's Bubbles just whips up pretty damn quickly. No issues with that at all. I remember somebody used to say that you pretty much just look at it and it <laughs> it lathers itself into a frenzy. Uh, it's 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 real easy to work with. Whether you put a sh uh, a whole hell of a lot of water or you put barely any water, it's pretty much serviceable no matter what. So that'll that'll be good to get us started. I will say one thing about packaging. <clears throat> it came in a larger box, obviously, but this was the uh, actual casing for the brush. Just this little plastic or cardboard with a plastic front. Simple enough. Instructions in different languages on the back. Simple enough, not necessarily super protective, but the box that it came in did have uh, packaging paper and stuff so this wouldn't rattle around. And uh, my order came with some free blades. Uh, of my choosing, there was a whole bunch of different options. So that was pretty cool. That was just a quick little preview of the packaging. So I'll wet my face now that we're getting way deep into the intro. <clears throat> but I've always kind of wanted a, a horsehair brush because I've always known it was kind of like that red-headed stepchild that the community doesn't talk about a whole lot. <laughs> it's like that fourth, that fourth uh, sibling that's been in the basement the whole time. <laughs> it doesn't really get out much. <clears throat> so I've always known about it. I've never been in much of a hurry to get one. But as of late, I've just kind of uh, been thinking about it more and more with all these second chance videos and whatnot. So I figured I'd grab one, give it a shot. I will say it splays pretty damn easily. Seeing that it's not a very dense knot and it had decent loft on it. That's not surprising that it splays easily. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit of swirls and a little bit of back and forth. So we're gonna see if this thing actually, actually tangles up, you know what I mean? And that's not to say that people who said it tangled in the past, that's not to say they're lying. But the same way that badger knots, boar knots, synthetic knots have came a long way, that's not to say that horse knots have just been sitting at the same quality this whole time while every other market is improving. You know, I wanted to give them their fair shot as well because they could have been improving in the background this whole time while everybody was ignoring them. Now I will say this uh, brush on the skin definitely had some scrub like if the tips um you know weren't super jelly or anything like that it definitely showcased some scrub so there's that it's not gonna be it wasn't very pillow soft on this first use oh and i'm using my uh Schick golden 500 injector here with a uh, supply blade. But uh, back to the Vylong. It uh, definitely had some scrub and it just felt, it felt like the, the tips weren't super like pillowy soft. The rest of it felt fine. It was just kind of a uh, Just a light scrub. 
not uncomfortable to me at all, but I know some people don't like that whatsoever. Some people like that pillow soft, you know, no scrub, no scritch. This, you know, won't be for those people, obviously. Um, now, like I said, it might, it might break in over time and become pillow soft. So, time will tell. Aesthetically, I do like the looks of it. On camera, and even maybe on Shave of the Day pics, you might never even notice or see the imperfections. But I will know. <laughs> and that, you know, that does kind of, does kind of irritate me. But for 28 bucks, it's not the end of the world. But I do like the look of it. That kind of matte black over wood, I think, is quite attractive in that uh, old school kind of tall handle. I think it does look quite attractive. <clears throat> and they had a fair amount of other uh, colorways and um, horsehair, horsehair colors as well as handle colors as well as different handle shapes and handle colors on Fender Hen. I noticed they kind of had the biggest selection and I've never ordered from Fender Hen before but they did have kind of like the biggest selection of um, these uh, Vylong horse hair brushes. All of them were pretty reasonable, comparable to uh, boar hair brushes for sure, uh, price wise. And just to add a tad bit of water, the stuff in the bowl was looking a tad pasty. Um, as a painter, it works real well, seeing as, like I said, the, uh, backbone on this isn't, I, I'm not going to say this brush is floppy because I've definitely had worse. I'd say it's maybe just under medium backbone, but it's definitely enough to hold its structure while you're building a lather. I think, you know. I showcase that in my uh, past one lather. It definitely had enough backbone to agitate, but maybe just under medium backbone. Uh, obviously very good for painting. All right, so we'll do pass two here against the green. The scent. Probably a 5 out of 10, maybe 6 out of 10. Very, uh, very good sense strength. It's present and it's very pleasant. And this is one of my favorite shavers. This, uh, Shake Golden 500. So damn smooth. As far as those, oh. I was feeling so good, but I felt a little snag on that blemish. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was pretty much uh, healed, but I did feel a little 
a little tug so hopefully it doesn't start bleeding maybe it just caught the scab or something just push all those hairs up <clears throat> all right so uh in terms of those imperfections on the brush kind of looks like it took a couple bumps and bruises before the finish was even put on it like before the black got painted over and uh, before the kind of lacquer got put on the wood it looks like it took a couple bumps and bruises there's just little you know little indents here and there under the paint as well as like I said around the knot in some places there was just uh, slight signs of glue not not a deal breaker for me at all because the black will mask it you know on video and um, in pictures you'll probably never see that glue and honestly you'll probably be pretty hard pressed to see those bumps but like I said I'll know they're there and that's kind of irritating even for you know for any any amount of money really it it's kind of a bummer to get a product that isn't like that doesn't arrive in pristine condition now you know if it's cheap I'm cool with it deteriorating quickly <clears throat> but it, it should at least arrive in pristine condition I feel like they could have done a little bit more even just to not not fender hand but by long could have done a little bit more with their packaging to kind of hold that brush steady from knocking around. All right, let me just get this off. And that was just a pretty much brainless shave right there. If you wanna do a under 10 minute shave, <laughs> Get yourself some Katie's Bubbles and a Schick injector. And you could probably knock out under 10 minute shaves on a regular basis, no problem. Those free blades that um, I got to pick that came with my order. Those Treat Platinums. I've never used those before, DE blades. So I look forward to that. I'll probably get those in pretty soon. I got a, uh, a number of products coming to the den, including, but not limited to, some Murphy and McNeil soaps and aftershaves, uh, a straight razor, my first straight razor so we could look forward to uh that whole newbie straight razor shaver process so that'll be fun <clears throat> so i didn't get the matching uh aftershave with this but i i figured uh this oleo and that darn rob collaboration called that darn splash and that darn soap um or called grounds and shavings uh, so this is basically a coffee and wood scent. So coffee and cedar, I believe it was. And it's just a real nice, it, it also has kind of like a, uh, like a chocolatey gourmand thing going on, but that nice woodiness in there as well. Uh, I love it. And I was watching Latherhog, John over at Latherhog. I was watching his video this morning. And he said he used some good oleo and he put a couple drops of good oleo along with the aftershave splash to kind of boost performance so i'm going to give that a shot today for the first time i'm just going to kind of get a few drops here one two come on baby three 
and then I will put my splash drops right on top of that. Why not be liberal? Get that nice and incorporated. And get that right on the skin. And we'll see what that does for us. Oh man. And this stuff smells great as well. This uh, grounds and shavings. This was an awesome collab. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this is some good stuff, guys. If you see this on the BSTs, I would definitely recommend it. A uh, very unique scent. And I, I look forward to seeing how the performance of this uh, oleo, uh, good oleo mixed with the aftershave. See how much it really does boost it. This is some great stuff. Just for just for skincare, not really, you know, not really shaving related, but just for skincare, that's some great stuff. Also, uh, John from Latherhug, I stole that um, technique from you. Thank you for that. But John is getting close to 500 subs over on his channel, and he makes great videos. So if you haven't checked out Latherhog on YouTube and Instagram, please go check him out. He makes way better stuff <laughs> than I do. Uh, he does fragrance reviews, shaving product reviews. Uh, he edits it to where it's short and sweet and concise. Um, you know, me, I'm just a rambling fool. John, you know, he's, he's right to the point, you know what I mean? Kind of like Rudd's. So please give John a, a sub, uh, check him out. He makes great content and he will do a giveaway once he crests 500 subscribers. So just wanted to give John over at Latherhog a shout out. Good, uh, great content, buddy. But let's do a recap. Katie's Bubbles, Irish Coffee, fantastic soap. I would recommend this to beginners if they got the money. Katie's Bubbles is super easy to work with, whether you underhydrate it, overhydrate it, whatever. It just it just works. <clears throat> Use my Lancaster Bowl. Always a pleasure. Uh, the Vylong had a great maiden voyage. It's a little bit scrubby, but that doesn't bother me too much. Um, I didn't notice any tangling. I will report back though after I get you know after I clean my hardware and. I will report back on my next video how, you know, if I noticed any funny business going on with tangling of the, uh, the hairs in the knot. Um, I also used my Schick Golden 500. Pretty much my favorite razor in the den. Not pretty much. It absolutely is my favorite razor in the den. I love the aesthetics and the performance. So smooth. And then a combo of good oleo and grounds and shavings by oleo soap works and this is a collaboration with that darn rub fantastic stuff smells great all right that's it guys everybody we're almost to the weekend stay safe out there as always and uh stay strong as well peace <laughs>